Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and I am sitting with Emily Tosta, Hi. who you guys are going to see on the new Freeform Reboot Party of Five. How you doing? I'm good. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you. So Party of Five was one of my favorite shows back oh my in gosh, the day. That's so amazing. I know. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how you landed the role and um, what you knew about the franchise from beforehand. So it's actually really funny, but I wasn't raised in this country. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of TV and film that I missed out on growing up in the Dominican Republic. So I actually wasn't aware or familiar with the show until the audition process. And that's when I started watching it and I started getting familiar with the characters and the plot line of the show. And while we were shooting the pilot in Montreal, Elle, who plays my little sister, mm -hmm. Valentina, on the show, her and I would actually watch the show in our free time in our hotel room in Montreal. So, Oh it my was fun. gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. So I know that you have a very interesting past, especially given you know what this show is about. So this reboot is going to be about immigration, and instead of um, the family losing their parents um, to death, you know they actually yeah. lose them because uh, they are deported. So tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about your background and and how that helped you dive into this character. So I was born and raised in Dominican Republic, like I said, and coming to this country with my mom was definitely a journey for us. Um, we came out here with no legal status to work. We came out here with no money. We came out here with obviously English not being our first language whatsoever. And obviously the whole legal situation and the struggles and all of that stuff that happened between my mom and I definitely helped me bring a lot of realism to my character, mm -hmm. dealing with legal issues as well. And her parents being deported, I know what it's like to go through legal battles. So I can bring that into my character and I think it helps me create a more authentic story that we can tell people. Yeah, and tell me a little bit about your character, Lucia. So, I mean, are you supposed to be the Nev Campbell character? Is that the one <laughs> yeah. that's supposed to kind of mirror that? Everyone says that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I suppose it does mirror it. Um, but my character, Lucia Costa, she is actually a straight-A student. She always played by the rules. She was always super studious and very focused and determined until her parents get deported. Then she starts having all these realizations and she starts developing sort of like an anger towards the world. And she starts getting involved with people and things that she shouldn't be getting involved with. And she's very confused about herself and she's very confused about her family dynamic. and. She's wondering, how come this happened to them? They didn't do anything wrong. So she gets very politically radicalized, and, and she goes through a lot, which is going to be super cool to watch throughout the season. That's a really a fascinating role to play. Uh, tell me a little yeah. bit about how the show, besides the storyline of deportation, mm -hmm. is going to be different than the original, and what parts do you think they're really keeping true to form from the original? So just the fact that this is a bicultural family is, is already a big difference. Um, this is being told by the lens of these four points of views, which are the four siblings, and we are Mexican-American. So mm -hmm. that alone, it brings in a lot of culture, it brings in a lot of diversity and inclusion onto the show and onto the screen. And obviously our parents being deported is a big difference, but there are going to be a couple of Easter eggs that fans from the original, so you will be able to tell. There's a couple of scenes that mirror the original. There's a couple of dynamics between siblings and stuff that are going to be super cool for people that watch the original to watch on this one. That's amazing. And so I also know that Nev Campbell gave an interview where she talked about the show and how proud she was of the way it was being portrayed. Have you guys yeah. gotten any kind of feedback Back or words of inspiration from any of the original cast? So they haven't reached out to us directly, but I do know that a few of them have been asked in interviews how they feel about it being rebooted, and all of them have given such positive feedback, so we're super excited. Hopefully they watch it too. <laughs> and tell me about the family that you built with this cast. Did you guys grow really close like siblings do, you know, that work together on a show like this? It was pretty crazy because we always talk about how ever since the testing session we had to go through several steps, auditions and chemistry reads and all that stuff. And when we were throughout the testing session of the show doing chemistry reads with other characters, as soon as they put all of us together, we just felt that instant chemistry. Mm -hmm. And when we all booked it, we actually all wondered if the others booked it as well. And it was our first time, all of us meeting at the chemistry read, but we just felt so connected to each other. And shooting in Montreal and being in the same hotel and, and just spending so much time together over there obviously made us grow so much closer together. But it's really fun because our dynamic is like a family on and off screen. And I think that helps us be able to bring our characters 
into that family dynamic onto the screen and it's really fun because they're like my real life siblings. I mean, I call Nico when I have a problem. I call Brandon for advice. Ellie's like my little sister. We just have such a good dynamic. And it's a blessing because it's awesome to be able to show up to work every morning and be happy with your surroundings and with your cast and crew. And it was beautiful. And have you gotten reached out to by any fans yet, you know, that haven't even seen the show and are excited because they see that they're going to be represented on television and that their stories are going to be told? Absolutely. We're always getting messages on Instagram or on Twitter or even some comments when they post the different trailers and different clips of the shows on YouTube. And it's so incredible because even me as a Dominican Venezuelan young girl growing up in my country and moving to the States when I was 12 years old, I wish that I could see more characters like these on screen because I wish that I could see myself on screen more while I was growing up. And I think it's such an incredible thing that we're making that progress in the industry of bringing more diversity and inclusion and telling stories that need to be told. I think that there's a lot of progress that we still need to make, but we're making steps in the right direction. I agree. I completely yeah. agree. And I'm so excited for everyone to see it and, you know, for people that perhaps, you know, are not experience with what's going on or don't know much about yeah. it that it definitely brings awareness absolutely i feel like as long as we can shine light and bring understanding into a subject we did our part you know mm -hmm. as long as we can portray that realism and we're humanizing a political issue which is something that's so important to all of us mm -hmm. and you also were part of spreading awareness for a political issue on another amazing show mayans mc um yeah. what was it like being a part of that show and the storyline that you were a part of did you know a lot about that before or did you learn for that role so i actually did have to learn a lot for that role um my dad on the show, Richard Cabral, which plays the role of Coco, he, him and I actually went to Skid Row and we went to a lot of group talks and we spent a lot of time together so we could learn about our roles and, and what our characters were going through and how they grew up and stuff like that. So we did a lot of research so that we could bring that onto the screen. But it was such a beautiful experience because they're also an incredible cast and crew and Elgin, Kurt, the writers, the producers, everybody's so incredible. But funny enough, when I went in for the audition, I knew nothing about the role. I only knew the one sheet of paper that they gave me for the audition. Even after I booked the role, I had no idea what the plans were wow. for my role on the show. And I remember my first day on set, it, it wasn't even me filming. My first day on set was actually a picture that I had to take that came out on one of the scenes in season one. And Elgin, which is um, one of the creators, writers, producers, he actually came into my trailer and he told me what the storyline they wanted to develop for my character was. And that's when I found out where they wanted to go with Leticia. Mm -hmm. And it was such a beautiful journey because she's so different than Lucia. But I mean, at the end of the day, she's still a teenage girl struggling. and. She grew up in very dark areas, very poor areas, and, and she was facing a lot of things that no 16-year-old should be facing, which is what allowed her to develop into the person that she is. So now that she found her father and now that she has sort of a family member to look up to, she's learning that not everybody in the world is against her, and she's kind of growing into herself and learning that, hey, maybe I don't have to go through the world alone, you yeah. know? And do you have any idea about the show coming back or if they're going to bring back your character at all? Yeah, so we got picked up for season three, which yes. is super exciting. So yeah, we have we have some cool plans for Leticia. So Oh amazing. So we yeah. will be seeing more of her, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing more of her. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well we are going to be seeing a lot of you very soon. Yay. So <laughs> the reboot of Party of Five on Freeform mm -hmm. premieres this January. Yeah, um, January eighth. January eighth, you guys check it out. It's going to be such an amazing show. I can't wait to watch it. Yes. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.